In previous videos, I have described how easily you can install a photovoltaic solar energy system using microinverters. I explain how the inverters are connected to one after another so the power produced is greater. The APS-YC 500 microinverters I used as an example work very well. However, they have a couple of limitations. First, they are designed for two 250-270 watt panels each. The trend in the market is to use larger panels, about 330 watts. This can be a problem when replacing a defective panel. Secondly, all the current harvested by the microinverters of a group has to go through the output cable of the first inverter in the sequence, which can cause a loss of power since the cable used in the microinverters is not very heavy gauge. In this drawing, the current going through the AC cables and connectors of the inverter marked with the letter A is the sum of the harvest of the entire group. One way around this is to connect each inverter directly to a trunk cable and forget about connecting them to each other, as shown here. This way, each cable and connector will only deal with the energy produced by one inverter and not by the sum of them all. Recently, APS-YC600 inverters were released to the market and they can easily accept two 330 watt panels and they also have only one AC output cable which is connected by means of a regular connector to a bus cable. So, both problems are solved. At the same time, more energy is produced without taking up much additional space on your rooftop. On the other hand, the extra pieces of cable with the panel connectors have been eliminated, thus placing the connectors directly in the metal box, allowing a tidy installation. I hope this video has been useful to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.